This is the solution to written homework 42. So the idea for part A is that this is a transformation of the standard parabola. So here's the standard standard parabola. standard parabola looks like this. And what we want to know is that if this is if this is y is f of x, so this one is y is f of x. So let's do the transformation. y is f of x transforms to uh, sorry, <laughs> I don't want to call this f because that's confusing because that, that's an f. So let's call this, uh, say, p for parabola. So y is p of x transforms to y is um, 5. And then... y is 5 p of x minus 1 like so and then plus 3 okay <clears throat> so now I could move this 3 to the left and that would be y minus 3 is 5 p of x minus 1, and then I could divide by 5, and we'd have y minus 3 over 5 is p of x minus 1. So now let's analyze what each of these pieces is doing, each of these transformations. So I'll copy this up here. So y minus 3 over 5 is p of x minus 1. So that means that if we were to plot, if we were to observe what this does to the plot, uh, several things occur. So this part is saying that the plot is going to move right 1. This is saying the plot is going to move up 3. And this is saying the plot is going to be vertically scaled. By 5. So those three things are going to occur. Which means that we can, for example, watch what this blue point is going to do. It's currently at 0, 0. And it's going to move right 1 and up 3. So right 1, up 3. That's 1, 3 now. And the whole standard parabola is going to move with it. And then it's going to be stretched out vertically. So it'll be really tall. And skinny. Uh, but all that matters in this question is where is it increasing and where is it decreasing. So this parabola here is going to decrease from negative infinity to x is 1 and then increase from 1 to infinity. So it's going to decrease from negative infinity to 1 and then it's going to increase from 1 to infinity. Okay, so then <clears throat> for part B, recall that the definition of even is that g of negative x <clears throat> is g of x, 
and the definition of odd is that g of negative x is negative g of x and if neither one of these true is true then the answer is neither so in either case we need to see what happens to g of negative x well g of negative x that's 2 multiplied by negative x but that's just negative 2x so that's negative g of x therefore what we've established is that g of negative x is negative g of x and <clears throat> therefore g is odd now you could see that that is the case uh, in another way because if you were to look at the plot of g well the plot of g of x is a line with uh, y-intercept 0, which is to say it passes through the origin, and slope 2. So this is g of x. So this is y is g of x. And now, if we were to if we were to uh, do a horizontal reflection of g, that's a horizontal reflection of g and now also that is a vertical reflection of g so that's what it means to be odd is that a horizontal reflection is the same as a vertical reflection and that's the answer <clears throat>